This chateau was built on the banks of a river at the beginning of the 17th century in place of an older building and was finished around 1620. The dungeons contain medieval vaulted ceilings. His son-in-law inherited the estate in 1629 and gradually built up a library of 3,000 to 4,000 books. He died at 85 and, not having any children, gave the chateau to his nephew, who transformed it and sold the library. A west wing was added around 1760. The estate was sold in 1798, and the new owners had an orangery built. The chateau was listed as a historic monument in 1954, which included the facades and the roofs. In 1997, the island, the iron footbridge, the landing, and the lock, along with the ancillary buildings, cooler, storeroom, and perimeter wall, were listed. The 33-hectare park, enclosed by walls, is listed too. It is said to have been started thanks to French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. It was he who brought exotic plants and trees from his campaigns to the former owner of the chateau. Murals were discovered during the latest renovation, hidden behind a layer of plaster. The chateau was sold in 2014. The previous to this had owned the chateau for 35 years. The chateau was in bad condition. It had been for sale for 10 years. The new owners embarked on a speedy restoration, with some 60 full-time specialists spending two years working on the chateau. Roofs were replaced, stonework repaired, doors and windows repaired or replaced, new bathrooms were built, new heating and electricity systems were installed, and painting and the restoration of old paintings and furnishing were done. The total restoration bill is said to be about 1.5 million euros, with the intention of opening the property to guests. Shortly before its opening, a deluge and a massive influx of water in the river caused a flood. A flood that had not been seen for 500 years. The flood caused 800,000 euros worth of damage. The restoration continued. This chateau is one you can stay at. Beautiful rooms and an abundance of activities.